I am sitting here with Dave Hull, the hullabalooer from KRLA in Los Angeles, the, probably the hottest rock and roll radio station of the 60s. And it is such a, a pleasure to be here with you, and I, and I really sincerely thank you for allowing us to come down and invade your space for a little while. Well, that's very nice of you to say, Bill. We're happy to have you. We're glad you're here. So, let's talk about your career. Where'd you start? Well, I started in Armed Forces Radio in North Africa. One day I went by the radio station, the Armed Forces Radio Station, and I walked in one day and uh, a corporal was taking a phone calls and uh, I, he, I said, how do you get on the air? He said, uh, just a minute, I'll call Lieutenant Gary. Lieutenant Gary came down from his office and said, you want to go on the air? I said, yes sir, but I've never been on the air. They said, you've got a classical show tonight from 6 to 6.15. Just like that. I said, but I don't know anything about classical music, sir. And he said, that's okay, it's all scripted. Everything is scripted, the music is pulled, everything is ready for you. He said, you take this script back to your barracks and you read it over and familiarize yourself and be here at 5.30. Well, I couldn't believe it. I'm on the air. I've never been on the air in my life. I said, well, I have two choices. Give them back the script, never go on the air, or get, take it back to the barracks and learn what I've got to learn. I chose the latter. But unbeknownst to me, it was all in German. <laughs> <laughs> the sonatas were written in German. The artists, the conductors, the musicians, all had to do with German. I had no idea how to pronounce the words. So I decided, I have two choices. Take this script back and give up radio, or two, fake it. Fake it. I chose the latter. Yes. So when 5.30 came around, the lieutenant said, are you ready? I said, yes, sir, I sure am. He said, good. And when I started, I made up the words. In the Sonata called Orphan, the Felden Orfe, the violinist, will do an outstanding job with her rendition of Halster Norfendorf. Well, unbeknownst to me, the Brigadier General who ran the bass that I was on, that the radio station on, loved the classical show at six o'clock. And he had a two-star general. He was only one, a brigadier. He had a major general from the army in Europe listening. He said, you've got to hear my favorite show. And this man spoke fluent German. So when I started this ridiculous pronunciation of things, he broke out laughing, looked at the one-star general and said, now I know why you like this show. <laughs> well, it was the next morning. I got a call. I'll bet you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and it came to Lieutenant Gary, and they said, General Jackson is on the phone for you, Airman Hall. I thought, oh my God, it's last night's show. I'm finished. My career is over. And I snapped to attention, took the phone. Yes, sir, Airman Hall. He said, Airman Hall, this is General Jackson. I wonder if you could come to my office. What do you tell a general? I but wonder if you can come to my yeah, office. Really. That's an order from a one-star general. I had two or three, two stripes on my sleeve. I said, yes, sir, what time shall I be there? He said, be here about 10 in the morning tomorrow. I told Andy Carey, he said, I'll, I'll send a car for you, Airman Hall. Well, he sent the staff car that he uses and a five-stripe master sergeant drove up and said, where is Airman Hull? And I came in with two stripes and he was not happy to have to open my back door. I bet. Oh, he was not happy. <laughs> so he took me to the general's office. When I went through the door, I snapped to salute, had attention and said, Airman Hull, here as ordered, sir. And he said, oh, and I expect, I still had my hand up and I expected him to say at ease. That's what you always get. Yeah. And with my hand up, he said, oh, Airman Hull, have a seat on the couch. Yeah. And said to me, I heard your show last night, and Major General somebody or other from Europe laughed and laughed. 
we had such a good time, you chose such good music, I didn't choose any music, it was already chosen. Yeah. So that's how I started.